Hi, I'm Nick Carlson, a controls engineer here at SW North America. Today, I'm going to show you an automated solution that we designed for our customer Jacobs Vehicle Systems. Let's go take a look at the production of some engine brakes. Our raw parts get introduced into our system by a forklift truck. The forklift truck loads the crates into the gondola and then the gondola tips over, emptying the parts into the main conveyor. The incoming conveyor will present the part to the robot to be unloaded and loaded into the laser cell. From here, the robot will remove the parts from the laser etching station and introduce them to the buffer station where they will wait to be unloaded from our gantry robot. We designed our end of arm tooling to hold up to eight parts on our overhead gantry. This way, you can minimize cycle time and maximize efficiency while loading and unloading the machine. Each of our machining centers have two processes, an OP30 and an OP40. In between OP30 and OP40, the rail robot must come down, pick up the parts, and re-grip them at our re-grip station up above, and then reintroduce them to OP40 to be finished. After a part has been loaded onto the fixture, our LR mate will load a bushing onto the press head. The press will then complete its cycle. After the parts have been pressed, our third robot will unload the press fixture and load them into the handoff station. Our fifth robot will then pick from the handoff station and place into the robo drill. Parts will come from the robo drill and be loaded into the washer. Our washing cycle consists of three stations washing, rinsing, and drying. Our last robot will take parts from our washer and place them into packout carts. From here, the operator removes them from our system. 